Hello again. This is a bonus episode uh, because we found out there's going to be a Smash Direct tomorrow. It's 40 minutes long, which is ridiculous. Um, and it's followed by Treehouse Live, where they're going to showcase some other games, maybe give some information. It's like a, I don't know, it's an E3. Bigger than E3, to be honest, um, this year's anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm Darren, and um, I'm with Greg and Lee, and we're here to just give some predictions to the final. They've said it's the final, the final Smash Direct before it's released on the 7th, 7th of um, December. Uh, is it the 7th of December it comes out? Yes, it is. What else is coming out then? You mentioned it earlier, Greg, on the 6th, you said. Oh, Sega Mega Collection. Oh, November. So maybe I'll November. hold off getting Smash and um, just because <laughs> the Sega Mega Drive Collection is coming out, so I'll get it in the new year. Um, obviously, we're all very excited about Smash Brothers. There has been a major leak. Is it worth? Should we? Do, should we? Is it worth mentioning the leak? Should we? Should we? Yeah, yeah go for stuff it. it. Go for it. Because so someone, leak, someone later on Twitter said, "No, it's not real." Yeah, a lot of people, but people still don't know. I mean, we'll find out yeah. tomorrow, I guess. But um, so the leak. Everyone will know what the leak is, but ultimately the characters that it revealed were Ken, Shadow, Gino from Super Mario RPG, um, Banjo Kazooie, and my favourite, the chorus trio from <laughs> Rhythm Heaven. Yep, and Mac Rider. Yeah. The thing is that nobody's mentioned about the chorus um, children is years ago they were rumoured for the Wii U, for the Wii U version oh, for a long know. time ago and that, that he, was, he was actively trying to work on them to make them. but no one's sort of bringing that up as a sort of a possible like maybe this is real because um, but whether it's real I mean Greg do you think this is real? It's too good to be true isn't it? Is it? Like, Mac Rider that's another one that's on the character but yeah Banjo Kazooie is that too good to be true is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Duck and Duo anyway I would love to Same see Banjo Kazooie on there it's just the characters I think they're great licensing nightmare as we brought up many I, times I don't think it is I know you don't I think, don't it, think is. it is I still think it is no um, ha, right. no D- do you think Nint- if Nintendo approached Microsoft and say, hey we want to put Banjo-Kazooie in this game how yeah. uh, 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 Microsoft can say yes but they've already you- said they would They've said oh, it. Oh, they? Oh, okay. Yeah. Phil Spencer. They've said. That rings a bell. Yeah, they've I, said. They can have it. Yeah. For me, I feel the issue is, uh, yeah, Xbox are absolutely fine about getting Banjo and Smash Bros. They're going to have a new Banjo-Kazooie for the next Xbox coming out. Yeah. That's what I think. Launch title. So they're going to be sort of winning off the the Banjo Kazooie hype for, for Smash Bros. So I maybe guess. it's Nintendo's card to play and say, all right, we'll put him in only if the next Banjo Kazooie game comes <laughs> on to the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> or let us put don't let us put Goldeneye on the um, N64 <laughs> mini. Or Blast or all of them. Blast Let's get all, them all rare games. Let's get that rare collection. Um, what was it called? Yeah. Replay, rare replay. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh God, I'd love that. Lee, do you think it's real? Initially, yes. It seemed that the the eclectic nature of especially like the chorus kids was a brilliant addition. I thought, no, oh, that Sakurai down to a T. But I've heard so many people who I trust on Twitter say that they've heard that it is a hoax, that I don't believe it anymore. They could be like trying to counter or counteract it. I did think it was real. The There is so much about it. If it's not real, it is genius leak. Just the inclusion of the Grinch sort of marketing, which could be a byproduct. It could be like they are actually working on the Grinch market and that was just in the photo that they superimposed it to. That could could have just been a, a, a better look, but it's still very clever. The the level of work to change the main... I know it's blurry, I don't care, but you can still see enough to know. The level of kind of photoshopping on to create the empty battlefield and to cr- add those characters in space. If you look at how they've... It's, they've not just plank, plonked them in gaps. They're they've the right re-spaced out the characters. Yeah. They've, reshaped, they've reshaped that. So it's like, it's possible, it's doable, you know, but, you know... I've got people who work for me who are amazing at Photoshop and can do crazy things. But is it, that, is, that is a highly skilled, a lot of work has gone into that. And a lot of thought, where it's not really obvious, it's not really big things. You, didn't ha- you did not have to do an empty battlefield for this to be get the buzz it's got. It's just completely unnecessary. It's, so if, if it is fake, wow. You know, it's, there's a lot of clever stuff that's gone into this. Um, so I was just like, it has to be real for that reason alone. Cause I've, but... I actually don't think it is real anymore. <laughs> um, is it the blue? I don't, I can't. It's the blue. Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> that, it's, it's, a, it's always a bit of a but I think it would be a bit of a, a better picture. I but. will always remember the Mario Maker picture, and that was blurry, and it looked awful. It was like, not as if. <laughs> and it was real. So... <laughs> And also, these like I don't know if Snapchat, but WhatsApp compresses images so badly. He may have had an Android phone, so the photo was going to be awful. I don't know. 
<laughs> who, who knows? But um, <laughs> so it's not necessarily that. It is an easy kind of cheat, but actually, I get photos from some people and they're awful quality, and I'm like, well, what did you take this with? Have you sent this from 1988 or what? <laughs> but um, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say it is it, it isn't true but for you because a couple of people in the industry who generally get things right, you know, who, who announce things in advance, who were very confident about things, have come out and said no. This is not real, and it will be revealed. But it could be sort of like just kind of set expectations. It, it w- I wouldn't be that surprised, let's say that. I wouldn't be like <gasps> gobsmacked if it was real. I think it's um, everything about it screams it probably is, but um, we will see. Um, but with that, I'm going to ask you a question here, actually. We're going to give our predictions. We're going to give some character predictions, what we think new modes are going to be, how the online works and stuff like that. Are we allowed to say any characters from those five? Because I have. Yes, yes, yes. You are? Oh, okay, because I think there's a couple of them are definitely going to be in it. So for the format of this direct, do we think this is going to be um, like the um, the last one where Sakurai, they've said Sakurai's hosting it, so Sakurai sat at his table going through, these are the new characters, these are the new, in the, in the same way. Do we think the format-wise, oh, they're, they're going to follow a similar thing? Yes, I do. Brilliant, great, yeah, awesome, yeah, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you go first, Lee, you cut that bit out. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be pretty much the same. How, how in depth, 40 minutes, I don't know what they're going to do for 40 minutes, Darren. And they surely they can't go into the in-depth that they of the kind of move sets and everything that they did during E3, because that ended up tedious towards the end. But E3 was tedious, the last direct was amazing. Yes, it was, and it needs to be shorter, punchier, it doesn't have to be shorter, but it needs to be punchier. I was going to say it's longer. You know? so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> It needs to be like character at the beginning. Then it needs to show us an on uh, the online setup. Then it needs to show another. Remember the Wii U one. Then it, it, it needs to kind of do that. What's that? The Wii U one. The Wii U one. They did um, the fifty facts. The announcer, and it was like fifty facts. It was like number one. Yeah. <laughs> number two. Number three. Number. You know, I don't think they'll do it. I think it will be the, the, follow the last one. Um, but like you said, Lee, you you kind of said it, and I agree completely. They're going to start off with a character reel, surely, and a big one. They're going to do the same thing. They're going to bookend with the biggest two characters. Maybe the end one is going to be the what the hell moment, and the first one is going to be a wow moment. So, Greg, what is that opening? The opening reveal <laughs> character character reveal we get. The, the video is going to start with it. Let's be honest. What is who is that character? <laughs> who is the first? Not quite what the what the what the moment, but a still a genuine like wow. Hmm, I wasn't really expecting this question. I guess <laughs> I, I, it's probably just going to be the one one off the the leak there which probably isn't real but it's not really a, a big one but like Ken as an echo fighter for for Ryu I think that's that's going to happen I think that might be the the opening I don't really? think they'll start with an I don't think they'll start with an absolutely amazing reveal at the start I think they'll leave the that's the interesting for later, later on I think Ken, Ken so Ken is one of your predictions Ken is one of my predictions yeah. Ken is 100% certainly going to be in this I think it's great. Ryu is in a great character. I love the fact that you do the half turn circles and the Shiro, you know, um, Shiro and stuff. L- love uh, Ryu in um and um Wii U. Ken definitely. I agree completely. That's not who I think this is going to be. But Lee, do you think Ken is going? Was he one of yours? And what do you think about this first character reveal? Um, I think he will be in it, but I've chosen ones that ones that I'd like to see, and uh, my my style is a little bit crazy. Do you know what the first one's going to be? Yeah. We're going to play a little bit of music, and these blocks are going to be falling down, and uh, it's going to be a, a playable Tetris block <laughs> that can change shape for different attacks, and that is the opening to Smash Brothers Ultimate New Direct, a playable Tetris block. That's, that's, that, that's, that's a, <laughs> I think that's a decent shout. I think if Tetris is in it, and there, there has actually been a few rumours about Tetris being in it, you know, music's in it. And stuff like that. So I don't think, but that is definitely the game and watch the duck hunt character. That is going to end the whole thing. That Ooh. wouldn't start it. I got That's good. That is the genuine. Oh my good god, one, Tetris. I think. That might end it. Okay. But that's fine. Okay, that's cool. So you think Tetris? I think, like I say, Ken is one of my characters. Um, but what I think is going to start, it, I think it's going to similar pattern to the first one. It's going to be a third party character, and it's going to be blocky, like your idea. But it's going to be Steve from Minecraft. Um, I've, been, I've been predicting him since E3, by the, by the way. But I think he is going to be the one that's going to open this whole thing. Third party character, a, a genuine like, oh wow, it's a big thing. People like Greg may not like it, but it's still a big kind of reveal. That's what I'm going to go with. It's going to go with um, Steve. So then throughout it, I mean, actually, Greg, how many characters do you think they're going to reveal in total? How many new characters do we not know about? We're, we're predicting five today. Do you think there'll be that many or more or less? 
Well, I'm pretty sure Sakurai said that they don't be expecting too many more characters. So I believe anything he says, yeah, I th- yeah. I think even five might be might be pushing it a bit. Okay. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe it's just downplaying expectations just so he can blow us away yeah, with exactly, going to show today. Exactly. But so what's your prediction? How many do you think he will they will be announced tomorrow? Let's go with five. Five Let's done. Go Lee. Five. Yeah. I, I I was gonna predict three. I don't think it'd be three. many. I think they'd be book ended and one in the middle. Okay, that's fair enough. But um, I, I think there could be. I think five is a reasonable shout, but it wouldn't surprise me if there was more. To be honest, it's um, Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh, but then there is DLC and stuff like that. So, but anyway, so let's just reel through our characters, but save our next biggest one for last, or the biggest one for last, um, or the most crazy one. Um, so, Greg, mm. what's your next one? Ken, who else? I'm not sure if I have any really crazy, 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 crazy ones. Um, and there's ones that I think will be in it that I haven't actually predicted here. Like I think, I think Shadow will be in it as well as an older Echo Fighter. It seems like an obvious one. I don't have him on the list here. My second one is Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Ah. Oh wow. Okay. And I think we, will, I think that will tie into we will get like uh, the HD versions of like the the previous Kingdom Hearts games, uh, with a view to maybe bringing Kingdom Hearts three later down the line. For the Switch Pro, for the Switch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sora, Lee. Um, it's Level Five's twentieth anniversary. Um, a couple of days ago, I think they're gonna have the Professor. You, professor <laughs> you later. You are dreaming. <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, they'll, I, just, um, they'll just casually knock him out halfway yeah. through, the, through the direct. And, oh, um, Professor Layton's in it as well. Throw his hat. He's got a big afro underneath as well. He could do some attacks with his afro. <laughs> some well, so that, in, in all seriousness, it. it it wouldn't surprise me if he is one of the, he, he's a plausible um, character to be in. He definitely would be one of the bookends, I but just, uh, I, I love could the be in it. games on 3DS um, and on yeah. the DS. I would love to see him in it. You, you can you can um, you can see how he'd work as a Smash character as well. Cool. Um, I'm going to be really boring and so you can skip past me very quickly I have predicted Shadow I've been like quite serious in what I genuinely think it could be so I did say Ken and Shadow so I'm sorry for being boring but Shadow is blatantly going to be in it as well so Greg your next one we'll just keep going around in a circle uh, the next one's one I actually predicted before the, the previous Smash Bros Direct and that's Raiden from Metal oh, Gear yeah. Rising again ah. with a view to bring a Metal Gear Rising to the Switch at some point bold Bold, I think that is. You said you don't get any crazy ones. I think that is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was my view of Professor Layton. It's kind of we'll drop him in there and we'll put a, 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 the six games on the Switch. You know, get them all on it. Let's do it. <sighs> yeah, and uh, in the same kind of vein, I think Capcom doing well with the Switch are going to bring Phoenix Wright. Objection, and on he comes. Phoenix Wright and his... the could other be an echo of Professor Layton, he could be. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that, though, <laughs> that Phoenix Wright's echo could be... And I've forgotten his name now. The, the, the one that was... Miles Edgeworth. Yeah. Yeah. Could be a good show. Like, I sort of think, like, the reveal trailer for a Professor Layton one could... Or, sorry, for a Phoenix Wright one could be really, like, really good. Yeah. Just this big objection comes yeah, out on the yeah, screen yeah. or something. Yeah, I just think, yeah. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, it would be great. Um, mine... I've actually done three of mine. Because I said um, Steve, Shadow, and Ken. So it's actually back to you, Greg. Realised that. <laughs> two um, more. Two so more. Because you said you thought Raiden was crazy, this one's probably even crazier again then, I guess. Oh, I've got no Although crazy I think, ones. I just think... Uh... <laughs> I think if, I'm not really classifying them as crazy because like, I think I know in my heart that there's absolutely like, zero chance, maybe. That's, that's what makes them crazy, I think. It's like, that's never well, going to happen. Dante from Devil May Cry. <laughs> and <laughs> there's a bit of a pattern going here. The Devil May Cry... HD collection will be common to Switch at some point. So okay. him and Bayonetta can finally face off against each other. <laughs> what about you, Lee? What's your next one? Um, my next one's uh, maybe more down to earth because it's already in Smash Brothers. It'll be a playable Master Hand um, as a character. You know, he can walk across with two fingers. He can flick you to kind of kick. And... I mean, we've all fought him, Lee. You don't need to explain his moves, though. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. That's an interesting shout. Just on that, he's not a character I enjoy fighting against at all. I've never yeah. liked him. So you'd hate like it if he was a playable character. character. Yeah, there'd have to yeah. be some sort of limitation that he can't float up and slam down. Ju- jump up and slam down. He can't just float across the top of the screen, you know? That could be like his final smash yeah. or something like that. Oh. Okay, cool. Um, my next one is... I originally thought this was a certainty... And but as time's gone on, I'm thinking maybe not, and maybe it's a DLC thing. But I'm desperate for this, and it's like a double one, but Springman 
and Ribbon Girl from ARMS. They'd be amazing. They'd be amazing yeah. Smash characters. And I love them. I think they're great characters. So, But I don't know. You kind of think it would have happened by now. But um, but we'll see. But that's what I'm going to say. So Spring Man and Ribbon Girl. I can see that Greg. being DLC. Because Sakurai, they, te- they do tend to be a generation behind with some of the characters. Yeah, take a bit of time to yeah. kind of develop them. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I'll take that. I'll take it. But um, So we've learned everything. It ends. And there's another, the final character. So it's got to be a big one. The final character is revealed. Greg, who's your big one? <laughs> Mine's not a big one, and it's a character I don't even really care about. So, yeah, uh-huh. it's good. and Great. I actually haven't played any games with this character in it. Like you, I think I think the arms characters will actually be in it. Um, but my choice is we all know whenever like uh, there's like a talk of like Smash Brothers Direct or something, like some big forums on the internet go pretty pretty wild, and we see some like funny gifs and stuff. I think. The final trailer is going to open up with the huge flames, and we all think, that, well, Smash Brothers, Chibi Robo, have like big flames. Yep, Chibi Robo <laughs> emerging from the flames. <laughs> I think that's what's going to happen. <laughs> and a game, and a GameCube remake. Yeah, <laughs> quite possibly. I have um, two, but I'm going to stick with one. I'll, I'll have an honourable mention after. Unfortunately, my last one is. Um, there'll be cardboard everywhere <laughs> and slowly together they'll be put into different uh, assimilations and Labo Man will be the last character he'll be based upon that you know, in the variety pack there's a man and you can put your Joy-Con on the back and he kind of falls over when you when you uh, add the rumble it'll be based upon I think upon you get one of them in every, on all of them oh really okay so you'll be based yeah, upon that yeah. shape and then a move set using the other Labo creations. Yeah, and a Labo level. That's a good one. No, that's a great one. That is a good. I think we've mentioned this in our E three podcast yeah, actually. Yeah. Labo, but no, that's a good one because I was thinking of it's it's gonna be a mental character. It's gonna be. It just has to be. And I couldn't for the life of me think of one that is a perfect perfect candidate for a mental character. It's like what? <laughs> I went with one. It's not really mental, but it's like an obscure one. They've obviously released Nez Online, and with Nez Online, they've um, put a game on there which has not been played and released for a long time. It's called Pro Wrestling. So I think Starman from Pro Wrestling Good call. is uh, yeah. is, is it could be a could be coming as a, as a kind of a, a, a very obscure retro sort of Nintendo character, Starman mm-hmm. from Pro Wrestling. And I would love another wrestling game um, <laughs> on Switch. There's a um, Fire Pro Wrestling on the um, PS4, I think. Surely that's going to come. It's like a retro style, so it's like SNES styled um, wrestling game. And the, when they were good, um, so I'd love that. But um, yeah, so they're the characters a, that we think. Yeah, there was a character I was thinking that was actually might have been in the Wii U one. Obviously, never appeared, and like I don't think they would bring anything back that sort of hints back to that the Wii U time. I remember when the I think it was the Wii U was revealed, or around that time, there was this there's a big thing about the nondescript action figure that appeared. In yeah, the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I thought he was maybe going to be a character in the Wii U one. That was yeah, like yeah. a really long shot to come out to just suddenly appear for this. No, game. now I think I, it's I too late. But yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't think a lot of people would like get the. <laughs> I almost feel like Labo Man is the kind of equi- the, the the equivalent to that now. I, I think Labo Man's got a cracking shout for this um, you said you had an honourable mention Lee Who's yeah that? I'd, I'd love to see a new game in this series anyway and um, th- these two characters in, in the kind of vein of um, the ice climbers with two of them snip and clip from snipper clips I'd love to see something done with those and they could you know cut itself into different shapes for different attacks yeah yeah, yeah, good shite. Yeah. Good shite. Not bad. We cheated a little bit having an extra one, but that's fine. We'll, we'll let you have that. <laughs> <laughs> so, part of what we're going to, you know, obviously, 40 minutes is a long time, so he's going to chat about a lot. And there's a there's a mode that they blurred out last time, it's been revealed as being called Spirits. It's blatantly that the kind of a, an, a single player mode of, of sorts. And so, I guess, you know, just kind of want your sort of predictions on what. What that could be, what that single player mode could be, and if you've got any ideas for other modes. The so first, Lee, what do you think the single player kind of is, or, or the additional mode is? Obviously, for the for 3DS, we had Smash Run. For Wii U, we had the weird board game. Um, what do you think th- this version is? I don't think it's going to be anything other than just a simple story, and what that story is based obviously around spirits, and we've seen Luigi dying. Is whether or not each character has 
a limited stock or something they soul they have to regain but I don't think I'm going to be blown blown away with it by it the actual whether it's going to be like a platforming like the space station the space emissary levels in subspace emissary, subspace emissary whether it's going to be like that I'd be happy but they need to tighten the controls up a bit for the actual platforming sections I don't think it's going to be anything wonderful what about you Greg are you a bit more positive uh no um but i think i've sort of had it in my head ever since like the reveal of the castlevania characters that like the main single player is going to take place in a sort of like almost like a castlevania like dracula sort of like castle sort of thing but like the sections are all sort of going to be like themed around like the different characters so you maybe have like a mario section where you like sort of fight mario style enemies and then you'll have you'll maybe fight bowser at the end of that section and or you'll go through metroid and obviously you'll you'll fight like um <laughs> ridley you'll fight ridley at the end of that section so i think there might be like a big big sort of castle where you unlock different ways so it'll be like the they'll actually be bringing metroidvania to life <laughs> i guess <laughs> So you so but so so what is it? So it's all set in a big castle type thing. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, I would say so. With maybe like different paths you can go, and depending on who you are, but you still just have fights through the castle sort of thing. Yeah, but do you, are you expecting like a big adventure thing, or do you think more simplified? Like well, you no, know, there or? will there will be like a lead up to like the boss fights, so there'll be bits you go through, and they'll just be sort of like themed on different different franchises. Like one sections will have like wee goombas and stuff that you just jump on. Like as I think in <laughs> melee they had like the I can't even remember it that well. Like they had like the Mario theme stages and there was Goombas and stuff you jumped on. Like I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even remember. I can't even remember it that well. But it's, but but it's not depending on who you pick. It's like that that mode. Whoever you no, are, you just it, go through all the franchises yeah, almost. That's what I think. Okay. Or you will it will make you choose characters from that franchise at we checkpoints or something. So you don't pick one character and go through. It's a you change no, characters. I think there maybe just I think there maybe just be like wee cut scenes and it's like all right, you're you're this character for this. Yeah, and I could imagine it being like that. You know, just a very linear progression. But that's fine. But, do, but do, are you expecting something big, like me- big cut scenes, a big story focus, or just a very tenuous excuse to string these fights together? And I don't think it'll be any more impressive than perhaps the the Mario Tennis story mode. I think it'll be. Like I enjoyed this story, That's all right. Mario Tennis, uh, yeah. but like it's, but it is basic. It's not as in depth as people maybe wanted it to be. And I think it's probably going to be something similar here. Okay, um, I, I think I've got c- bigger ambitions, uh, bigger expectations. I think, um, I think it's going to be pretty much a sequel to Subspace Emissary. I think it's going to have, and I actually think, although it's a bit bold because there's so many characters, but it can be put into franchises. But I almost feel as if every franchise is going to get its own adventure because another aspect of, and the spirits I don't know how the spirits thing's going to work but what every you know what you have noticed is that every all the bosses of all the franchises are now in the game um, and even on there's a, the monster hunter one with the big rathalos and stuff like that so it, it feels like bosses are a big part of it so like the you know like obviously you've got King K. Rool for Donkey Kong franchise and Bowser and you know you've got you've got the good versus evil sort of you got the full spectrum of it for every franchise now, except Street Fighter. So I don't know how that'd work, but maybe. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, are we going to get M. Bison? <laughs> but maybe, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I, I, I genuinely believe we're going to have like a mini storyline for every single, whether it's like one played as one big adventure, like Subspace Emissary, and there's loads of crossovers, which would be awesome because the cutscenes are great. Or it's like you pick a character from the Mario franchise, and you, that's one. So there's like fifteen different sort of mini adventures, and it's all themed around around that and that, the bosses of each one. So. There will be in Bison if you're playing a Street Fighter or, um, you know, because we know the Rathalos is in it, even though there isn't even a, a Monster Hunter character. Ooh, but, uh, maybe, so I don't maybe know how quite. Revealed. Maybe, that, maybe it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and obviously they're, they're bringing all the bosses in, they've brought all the bosses in. So I've just got a feeling that's going to be the, the big kind of angle of it. And I think it is going to be cutscene crazy. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> and they will tighten up the kind of platforming and adventuring bit. But um, yeah, that's what I, I think they're, they're going to go um, go all out. And I think um, the. Yeah bosses is going to be the big big focus of it but they're not the spirits is so i guess <laughs> yeah. we'll find i mean out. like i would i would love something like that there i think but you sort of alluded to it there like the controls the smash Bros. controls don't really lend themselves well for like platforming and sort of adventuring around so no I'd... it's that double but task that smash to run one wasn't horrific kind of going around the um the, the those levels and stuff. I just think if you keep them to a minimal, then and maybe it's more like mini gamey. So you think of like the mini games in it where they've got like Smash One, um, the 
baseball, but the, the smash target and stuff like that. Finding ways to re sort of make them look different, but make them fit within the world, if that makes sense. So rather than maybe there's a bit where as Ryu and Ken, you have to beat up a car or throw or something like that or so they bring the <laughs> franchise in even if they just reskin them a little bit to an extent where I mean I don't I mean I don't know how I haven't put too much thought into it but like even doing that I'd probably enjoy that a bit more rather than the, the pl- too much of the platform and a little bit is fine but it's like I want cut scenes I want like a, a story a bit of adventure in but just really good context kind of excuses for for the fights we'll see do you think there are going to be any other modes maybe not didn't, don't think about online yet but any other sort of like modes um an- announced lead have you got any this would tie in with online I'll, I'll leave it for the online stuff it could be single okay. player but it could also push it on to online anyway okay yeah, yeah. i definitely i mean i mean, i presume we all think there's going to be the um the usual kind of targets and stuff like that and the yeah. bashing the um, bag i don't know the names of any of these <laughs> <laughs> bashing the bag of the target one <laughs> But, but yeah. it's, it's those kind of things that I think would lend themselves well in the kind of online environment for high score chasing and stuff like that. So yeah, that's I agree, I, kind of, I agree. Yeah, held agree. off a bit. Go on, Greg. Yeah, what way did the break in the targets thing work on the, the most recent Smash Brothers? I- they were just set levels, and because one of them had one with character specific ones, didn't they? I can't remember now. But um, this was just, there's like girders and things like that, and just targets all over, and you just. Yeah, trans- more like Angry Birds, sort of a. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little bit, actually. Yeah. I wasn't really as keen on that. I liked like the earlier sort of break the target type levels more, and they kind of always thought like characters that I maybe didn't really use. They sort of helped me to figure out the moves and stuff. So I I kind of hope they have something more like that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean w- we'll see on that. But we you know we kind of mentioned online. It's surely, surely gonna be a humongous focus of this game, not just putting fights online. No, they've done some really nice things with arms and Splatoon and even tennis to an extent, the way you can watch each other play and mix and match and stuff like that. This is surely going to be big, 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 big thing for this. Um, to, it's almost like they've, they've launched the Switch Online, but this is going to be the really big push. So what do you... Th- I mean, do you th- agree? I guess you may not even agree with that. You may just think it's just going to be the same as it was on the Wii U. But if you do agree, what could that entail? You know, Greg, what do you think that's going to... What do you think the online is going to look like? I haven't really thought about it. And I didn't play the previous Smash Brothers games that much online, so I don't even really know what what they had and such. So I think they had like wee tournaments, like grids and stuff set out. Um, but I don't really know. Lee, <laughs> I, I can see them doing. I, I, there was a bit of rumor a couple of weeks back that there was going to be thirty-two player tournaments, and I can I can see them doing that. No, no, no. They've you, already announced tournaments. They announced it, so you can spectate every single match. You know, so you can sit there for the all afternoon. You can watch matches. You play yours as they come up, and just participate in your own um, events all the time just constantly never have to play single player again do you almost feel like like arms where you have those big rooms with loads of people yeah. so it's like maybe they've got the room for thir- maybe that's what the 32 people they, they've, yeah. they've already announced tournaments the last time and they, they'll probably they'll be online but so maybe 32 people can fit in a room sometimes you do one-on-ones sometimes you do two-on-twos fours yeah. you do the, the, do the squad eights. strike and yeah. there's Definitely, but I can also see them linking all what we said before with mission modes and you know the the long the the home run hit and just online weekly challenges, daily challenges. I think they're going to throw it all in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, that that wouldn't surprise me. Do you think any of the um, 3DS or Wii U uh, modes are going to come back? Like, do you think? Are we going to get Smash Run? Are we going to get the board game? The board game? No. Smash mm. Run? I don't even know what that is because I skipped the Wii U one. S- Smash Run was very good. I'd love Smash Run um, to come to come into um, to, to come to the Switch version. Um, I, I kind of a bit of me is like it's the ultimate version. They're just going to throw everything at it. So bring it, bring it. Um, I'd be pleasantly surprised if it's there. Like it'd be, it'd be great. But I, I can't quite see it, but you know, you never know. You never know what they're going to throw at this game. Um, but so basically, what happens is is every so there's four people. Everyone goes into their own little sort of cavern or level, and you go around and you basically collect power ups. So you you go around and you kill enemies and they drop things. So you basically level up your character. So it's just like speed, power, things like that. Scene. And then you just try and you go through. You've got like five minutes, I think, or three minutes. And you just kill as many people as you can, collect as many power-ups as you can, and items and things like that. And then you take that into a... F- then everyone comes together. And then your powered-up fighters all fight against each other. Um, and it's good. It's really good fun. 
So I'd I'd like to see that. Did yeah? Did you have the three D three DS one, Greg? Uh, yeah, I got both of them. Yeah, uh, yeah. the three DS one and the Wii U one. Um, I thought it was decent. Like I, I can't remember what the single player modes were like in it. To be quite honest, we had what Smash Run was that in both of them? No, Smash Run was only in three DS, and the Wii U had the board game, but this awful oh, board right, game. Okay. I don't even remember playing the board game, in all honesty. Well, the <laughs> best thing about it is they've included it into mine, and I've always said that the best thing about it was that as you play the board game, you collect fighters, and then at the very end, that's your stock. So you'll you, you'll have, say, uh, I'm about to say Ryu, Chun-Li, and Eddie Under. What game am I playing? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe, maybe we will. So, you know, so you've got, like, Zelda, Mario, Bowser. You know, you, you get your stock, and then when they die, they carry on. And that bit was amazing, and I always thought, that could be a mode on its own. And now it is a mode on its own. So that's the only good thing about the board game, so there's no chance that that is coming. Um, Smash <laughs> Run, I hope so. Um, Armstar Lobbies, please... 32 people in a room, mm-hmm. yep. I'm with you there. Monthly competitions. Um, I've got a feeling they're going to do like maybe like Splatoon style events, which I think would be pretty cool once a month. Like, you know, like Mario versus Bowser, and everyone's got to pick one of them, and then the fights are maybe like two, v- two of each or four v four, four. I didn't even think um, of that. That would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, do you think there'll be eight players online, or do you think it'll still be limited to four? Eight players for me. Eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Another question. Eight. Do you think it will be stable? Will it be good? <laughs> Please. Have, have you played tennis against me? No. <laughs> oh, not for you. What about for us? <laughs> I think it will be generally fine, just, just depending on who you're playing against, really. Okay, that's yeah, because obviously the previous ones haven't been amazing. Wii was awful. Wii U, very, very temperamental. Um, I hope it's as I hope it's a lot better than them. I hope it's pl- <gasps> sorry. Um, I hope it's playable. Anything else? Any other predictions? 40 minutes is a long time. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if Nintendo will have the audacity to lock a character behind the online system that you only get them if you're subscribed to play online. I just think surely everybody who's going to play Smash is going to pay for online. It's going to sure. have online. The vast, it's got to be the vast majority, yes. Yeah. They could. Easily, like they're, in a way, they're sort of doing a Mario Tennis a little bit. It, it, even it's similar to that, like a timed exclusive. If they're releasing a, a character every couple of months or whatever, it's like, well, you get it online straight away, and then you, a month later or something, you get it for for local play or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, anything else that we've missed? I think. Uh, yeah, I got one last prediction. Go on, then. And it's it's to do with the the kind of Smash GameCube controllers, but the you know the Switch ones that plug into the the dock yeah. and the adapters and everything. They are selling those under the Switch moniker. They are releasing on the second of November. So I think there will be a demo playable directly after the direct. I think they're gonna go, here's the demo, bang, and go and buy your Switch controller, uh, buy your GameCube controllers tomorrow. Oh, that would you be thought good. about this one. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Yeah, yes. I never thought of a demo. I never, they're gonna do one, they've gotta do a, a demo. I never yeah. thought about that and straight after, so, so tomorrow we could be playing Smash Brothers. Or maybe there'd be a day delay, but no, it's gotta be, it's normally, isn't it? The, playable now, get on the eShop. Off you go. They are, except they're online games, which they book a specific weekend for. Mm. So it could be like next weekend or a couple of weekends time or something. Yeah. It's usually a weekend for them in the future. But it depends if they're going to let people play locally or something. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. But I would um, I'd kind of love that. That would be good. Oh, boy. Do you think <laughs> we're going to come out at the end of it and we're going to th- be blown away? Do you reckon we're going to be like, oh, I think there's things that we can't, th- we haven't thought about that is going to be in it. And we're going to be like, oh, my God, that is amazing. I think it's going to be mind like not mind blowing. God, I'm so over the top. I think it's going to be. Um, I think it's going to be like genuinely surprising. Like that was amazing. I, I think there's going to be a couple of stuff in it. I think there's going to be a 15 minute section in the first third to the half that's going to be really boring, <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll pick up and it'll win me over by the end. Okay, so what? W- 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 give it a rating out of ten. <laughs> what's, your, what's your expectation? Um, my expectation is 8 out of 10. Greg, is it going to be mind-blowing? Or, okay. 9. Ooh, he's nine. Oh, Greg's hyped. <laughs> <laughs> Greg's hyped. And you, Darren? You can't wait for Raiden. 10. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to be I think it's going to be amazing. I think we're going to get loads of characters. I think online's going to look amazing. I think the single-play stuff's going to look... It's going to be perfect. I think it's going to be perfect. Yeah. Yeah, we've sort of spoken about how, like, light the 
the releases have been kind of this year from Nintendo. Mm-hmm. I think they're putting all their eggs in the Smash Brothers basket, so I think they are really going to have to to pull out of the hat here. Yeah, I think it's just going to be. I think it's going to be everything everybody wants. I don't think anybody's going to be disappointed. Other than obviously subjective, like oh, I wish this character was in. It. I don't know, like but I think people are going to be. They're going to. You can't not be the amount of content and the amount of characters in it. People are saying the way it plays is is, is an amazing sort of bridge between melee and uh, Wii U. I prefer Wii U version, but you know, obviously melee is a huge fan base. People, everything about this game is just is hitting everything, and I think um, and I think it's going to continue. Dude, over a hundred stages. Yeah, it's amazing. It's crazy. It's just the nostalgia. They're just all the nostalgia yeah. in it. Do you think they're going to do anything with the online app? Change it up in some way? Yes. That that that's a good. That's a, that is another good prediction. There's definitely going to be a little app next to Splatoon two for for Smash Brothers. One hundred percent. With some challenges built into it, or, or or something different, anyway, from how it's run yeah. previously. Yeah, there's yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. It is gonna be great. For, Forty minutes. I mean, it's the the confidence they have in this game to have a third direct forty minutes long, and they've spoken about it so much already. It's like yeah, okay. It, but like you say, they could spend fifteen minutes talking about this single player adventure mode. And it's like we get it. Yeah. <laughs> probably, probably showing us all the cutscenes to ruining it. It's like okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. But cool. Are, are you guys gonna get to watch it? It is uh, two o'clock your time, so I need hours ahead now. It's ten o'clock. Yeah, I'll probably be sitting around watching it. Probably Greg, what about you? For me, it's highly dependent on my wife. In what way? <laughs> We think the birth of our child oh, is getting, getting close. So okay, we've got through to morning. Okay, <laughs> you have to you have to name name him Sakurai if it is tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Raiden. <laughs> yeah, name him after it, the, yeah. the last the last uh, Smash character to be revealed. Whatever it is, <laughs> <laughs> Labo oh, Man. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, that's great. Well, we'll see um, how close we were with our predictions. Um, that's great. Very excited. Right. Speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.